Let's head back to the high for Game 4 in the Western Ontario Super Hockey League Championship Series. The Tilsenberg Thunder able to bounce back in Game 3, looking to tie the series up tonight at 2-2. Two and two. The Alvinston Killer Bees back in front of a packed home crowd, looking to shake off Game 3 and move to match point in the series. Jumping into the first period, the Bees on the power play and it's an inside feed for Ryland Bowers. Matt Sagrat reaches back and he covers up on the goal line and the Thunder would kill off the penalty. Later in the period, however, and how about this bounce for the Bees? Brandon Feezy shot goes off the glass. Oh, and McGowan bats it in out front. That's the opener for McGowan. The Alvin Arena lighting up for the home team and it's 1-0 after 20. Into the second period, now the Thunder on the rush looking to equalize. It's Braden Aubin down low for Mitch Fitzmorse out front for Kyle Baker. And Baker's got a beauty. That goal ties us, but it wouldn't be long for an Alvinston answer. It's a two on one on the four and four for the Bees. Brennan Feezy is stopped by Sagrat, but he collects the rebound. And he finds Franco Sprovero for the finish. It's the Killer Bees quick to restore their lead. And it's two one midway through the second. Minutes later, now the Bees on the power play looking for more. Brendan Feezy is stopped by the glove hand of Matt Sagrat and the Thunder would kill off the penalty. Later in the frame, however, the Bees back with the main advantage. Ryland Bowers walks the seam and he snipes it. That's Bowers fourth marker of the postseason and it's 3-1 Killer Bees. The Thunder trailing by a pair and here they are on the power play looking to cut into the Bees lead. Watch for the point shot. Jamie McQueen, Bardell Bullet. What a shot for McQueen. He cuts the deficit in half and it's 3-2 Bees after 40. Into the third we go, the Thunder pressing to tie it. It's a loose puck out front for Austin Forsyth, but the Bees get a body in front of it, and it stays 3-2 Alvinson. Later in the frame now, 4-2 on for the Thunder. Sheldon Thompson wraparound attempt, and Thompson ties it. It's a big goal from Thompson, and we're all squared up in Alvinston. Late in the third, now the game tied up at 3-3. The Thunder break up the Bees rush, and here they are on the counterattack. It's Braden Aubin across for Brendan Barletta. Jack Van Bokel rebound. Austin Forsyth throws it out front, and the puck bounces in. That's the go-ahead goal for the Thunder, as they rally in Alvinston. And it's 4-3 Tilsenberg late in the third. Two minutes left on the clock now, and it's a clean face-off win for James McEwen. Matt Sagrat kicks away the rebound. It's a big save from the Thunder's netminder. And with an empty netter from Sheldon Thompson, the Thunder tie the series. So it's a comeback win for the Tilsonburg Thunder in Game 4 as they take it on the road. This one ending with a final score of 5-3 on Friday night. Just the boys sticking together tonight. Um, you know, we went down two goals and we just didn't let that uh, didn't let that affect us. So we got one to end the period, went into the third and just kind of played our game and everything fell into place.